Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. After half a day of struggle, I was able to finally install and successfully run Flux One Schnell model in Python on my local computer running Linux Ubuntu. Flux One Schnell is a model that is used to generate images from text descriptions. And here is one example. Here is a text description that's used to generate this image. And let's briefly go over this text description. I've wrote here, I want to generate an image that will represent a Greek warrior on a beautiful white horse that is entering the castle. So let's see. Greek warrior. I'm not a historian, but I can tell that this might be a Greek warrior, right? You can see his outfit. Beautiful white horse, definitely beautiful white horse. And entering a castle. Here is the castle. There is a crowd of people waiting for him in front of the castle. Right, there is a crowd of people. You can see that actually there is some association between his outfit and the output outfit, outfit of these people over here. You will not see also in the background anyone who is modernly dressed, that is, dressed according to the 21st century standards. Then let's continue. There is a snow-covered mountain in the background. There is a snow covered mountain in the background and you can see how realistic the snow mountain is. This is truly amazing and it opens up a number of possibilities. In this video tutorial I will first briefly explain what Flux One Schnell is, then I will run a real-time demonstration on my local computer and finally I will show you some results. Now, in my next video tutorial, I will explain how to properly install and run Flux One Schnell on a local machine in Python. As I mentioned, the installation procedure is not straightforward for complete beginners. Consequently, you can press subscribe and like for the next video tutorial on how to install Flux One Schnell on a local machine. Okay, so let's start with some background information. First of all, and the main question is, what is a Flux One Schnell? Well, if you go to the Hugging Face website of the Flux One Schnell, you can read the following. And this is very important to understand. Flux One Schnell is a 12 billion parameter rectified flow transformer capable of generating images from text description. Now, what are the key features? Here they are. For me, the most important key feature is this one. It is released under the Apache 2.0 license. And this means that can, this model can be used for personal, scientific and commercial purposes. This is very important. Another nice feature of this model is that it can be installed locally. That is, if you have a relatively decent computer with a decent GPU, and in my case, I actually have this GPU. Let me bring the specs. I have a two-year-old com desktop computer running Linux Ubuntu with 32 gigabyte of RAM. And here is my GPU. It's basically a three-year-old -year GPU that's still relatively powerful, powerful. And I was able to generate this image within 30 seconds. That is, if you have a such a GPU or something similar, you will be able to run it locally and you will be able to generate these nice images, which is very important. Now, let's go back to this main page and let's explain a few additional things. Flux One is developed by the Black Forest Labs. And if you go to the website of the Black Forest Lab, you will see that Flux One has three different versions. It has the Pro version, it has Dev version, and it has this Schnell or Snell, however Germans pronounce this version. And what they're claiming is that they, this is their fastest model and it's tailored for local development and personal use. And it is also available under the Apache 2.0 license. Also, the weights are available on a Hugging Face website, which is also important. To see the weights and to see the model, you can click here on the files and you will see all the models. The first thing that will come to your mind is that even here you have a file that's 24 gigabyte. And if you click on these other folders, you will see that there are also files that are around 15 to 10 gigabytes. So if you download the complete repository, it will be around 
even 100 gigabyte on your local machine and this is a huge model so keep in mind that in the next video tutorial I will explain how to do that now let's run a simple demonstrator or demonstration over here I will simply erase this and I will enter a new description since I love animals I will imagine a scene with four animals and the scene will look like this a mouse a cat and a dog are sleeping next to each other okay there is a cute chicken let's say even there's a cute white chicken next to them the chicken is protecting them okay and there is a beautiful green forest in the background okay so this is a complete description this is already one paragraph of text or a paragraph inside of a book okay so let's run this and this is a real-time demonstration of how fast the model is on my local computer so if I click here the model will be loaded and then over here the process of generating this image will start so let's see in real time what's happening over here you can see that it's already starting and on the other side I have this terminal running the NVIDIA SMI and I can see the power consumption memory consumption and the GPU usage in real time and you can see that we are already consuming 100 watt of power my GPU can go up to 350 watt so think about it you're consuming 200 watt power to do that and you can see how power hungry machine learning is and here it is okay looks good right although I'm missing here a mouse there is something wrong here I'm missing a mouse however this is still good now after we close this image the code will complete and what will happen is that we will actually save the generated image so the image will be saved in this folder and we can actually see over here the image here is the image if you double click on the image you can open it and you can include it in your document or on your website okay so before I conclude this video tutorial I want to show you several examples that I was able to generate and I really like this example here's the description Roman Empire soldier with a sword and a shield behind their horses in the background there is mountain and here is the image you can see how realistic this image is this is truly amazing here's another image a white dog and a yellow cat are playing together on a beach the day is sunny there are three children watching them the children are also playing and you can see this is super realistic especially children in the background and you can see that even the dog is very realistic look at the shadows also everything looks realistic and here is the third example Nikola Tesla is working in his electrical lab there are thunders behind him there is a bird over his head and you can see it over here and to be honest this looks a little bit cartoonish and it looks like some scene from some cartoon but still not bad some people like images like this okay in the next video tutorial I will explain how to install and how to run locally this amazing model on a computer so please subscribe and press like thanks a lot and see you in the next video tutorial